Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a little bit about my last week in games and last week unfortunately uh, has been a less than average for EVE Online despite the fact that a new expansion came out. It is so busy at my work that I had uh, little to no time uh, when I came home to still play EVE Online. Uh, I still did a little bit of exploration, that is my standard go-to when I don't have that much time. Um, yeah, a couple of nice evenings and a couple of bad evenings so uh, on average i feel like uh, my results on um on exploration have been okay um, so far this weekend I also took a quick dive in wormhole space uh, yet again more about that later but that is maybe something that I also want to uh, increase a little bit because I now have a scout in a wormhole that I think might be interesting for the future I still need to do a little bit more research on all of that but uh, potentially there might be plans involving uh, a specific wormhole uh, in the medium to long term I must say because uh, at the moment there's still lots of other stuff to do as well uh, for my pi that is going uh, very well in fact um, just price wise i'm making coolants mechanical parts and uh, one other good that are all at pretty close to one year high points so that's a lot of very passive isk uh, that I'm making at the moment and uh, that is of course awesome um, other stuff uh, when it comes to PI has not gone up as much as I expected I thought the advanced uh, materials would go up a lot because of the new uh, structures that uh, that are introduced with the expansion but no nope, that has been quite muted except for the integrity response drones and uh, so I, I haven't done a lot of trading in there but there was definitely not a lot of profit uh, uh, to be grabbed uh, from the expansion this time which is a little bit strange uh, let's hope that we see more movement uh, when it comes to the next set of structures which i think will be the propaganda towers uh, for the bpcs i've just I, I haven't really increased my production or anything like that at the moment i'm actually really in in slow mode about once a week i make bpcs and i bring them uh, to Gita. and uh, yeah, it's, it's mostly the orca bpc that is making me a lot of isk and then we have the regular uh, structure bpc the, the M1s that are still selling quite all right uh, but uh, are, are definitely not at a, at a massive premium or anything like that um, at the moment so overall yeah, for EVE Online I feel like I need to catch up a little bit on the expansion uh, to explore what it has to offer and uh, I still need to yeah, find the time uh, to do that basically I still come online every single day but I don't always have that much time or energy left uh, to, uh, to do a lot of EVE Next up we have the World of Warcraft that has also not been a lot basically just in maintenance mode. Uh, I think that it, it costs like less energy uh, to spend a little bit of time in the World of Warcraft. It's also of course uh, you know not PvP hardcore or anything like that like in EVE Online there's no actual risk in there. So what I'm doing is just my emissaries although every uh, faction is at Exalted at this point. So um, I, I did manage to do that but I'm still going to keep up with the emissaries uh, because you do potentially I still get a couple of upgrades from from gears and from rewards there and uh, next to that just a quick random battleground one skirmish win and uh, that that's it for my world of warcraft at the moment i did um, during the weekend put in a couple of extra epic battlegrounds so that i managed to cap my conquest points and uh, that got me a weapon uh, a staff which uh, again increased my mastery by quite a bit and now my curse of agony is at more than uh, 29,000 damage uh, without buffs so that is actually pretty good in my opinion uh, very cool I, I love my affliction warlock i do think it is my playstyle. i really enjoy battlegrounds as well and so it's basically little to no effort for me to uh, to come online in the world of warcraft put myself in the queue uh, the horde has a bit of an advantage when it comes to the smaller battleground so we usually do win uh, the first if not the first the second game and uh, yeah it's not that time intensive uh, to keep up with what i want to do in the world of warcraft at the moment i think i'll just stay in that mode until uh, we reach the new patch and there i think i'll just add some more world questing and things like that in the mix uh, which i think will potentially have better rewards as well at that point and uh, then we'll explore the new uh, system for uh, for the azerite gear and things like that but i'm absolutely not planning to go hardcore or anything like that in the world of warcraft uh, i'm trying to enjoy myself there and for me it's it's the bgs uh, that is uh, one aspect of wo that i can definitely still enjoy 
Which brings me to a final game, something that launched last week. It is a Fallout 76. I did buy it because my brother and myself are planning to uh, have some adventures in there. Um, I only played for like a couple of hours, I would say in total maybe six hours uh, or something like that. Uh, I tried to come online every evening, that didn't work out. As I've said, I'm, I'm really, really busy. And uh, my experience so far, well, for someone who takes their time, uh, it's, it's probably still an okay experience for people that have gone uh, hardcore and, and like rush to end game they probably uh, come across a lot of bugs and a lot of problems and things like that um, the thinking here for me is is definitely not to make this a main game um, or, or a super hardcore experience I just want to have a little bit of fun uh, playing uh, in a fallout universe together with my brother uh, so that that's basically the plan there I plan to uh, really limit my solo sessions although the first few videos will be of me playing solo and I will see how much fun we can have uh, with Fallout 76 and, and basically also give Bethesda the time to uh, bring the game up to par, which is uh, admittedly uh, not the case at the moment. I, I, I think that I, I have a decent enough rig that I don't have that many crashes, but there's definitely performance issues. Uh, I, I might be getting like a little bit nauseous from from the way the graphics were with work with the motion blur and things like that um, it definitely has uh, some some real problems but because we're still only I'm, I'm level 9 at the moment right and, and I see that the end game content is apparently level 100 plus uh, so because I've done so little in the game for me the experience has actually been uh, pretty fun just exploring around setting up a, a very simple little camp coming across someone else's camp being able to to, uh, to to store all my junk and stuff like that from there uh, find a couple more locations uh, try to shoot some enemies try to upgrade the very early basic weapons that I have to try and find some some cool play styles and things like that so it's all really early and I'm, I'm trying to do that as much as possible together with my brother and in that co-op style I think that uh, we are actually having fun so far in Fallout 76 it definitely has its problems uh, but the way we are approaching the game is is take your time play a couple times a week play together and uh, don't rush anything I think from that perspective uh, it, it is still fun and uh, it will hopefully give uh, Bethesda the time to fix the problems uh, that uh that, that are uh, existing with the game before we actually really encounter them uh, before they become a problem for us so that that's hopefully something that will allow us to keep enjoying Fallout 76 at a slow and uh, and consistent pace and I will see um, whether or not we want to spend more time in it uh, if it stays fun but yeah so far I would say that um, it will have its own niche uh, it's it's definitely i don't think a game for the pvp guys that that want to murder people and and, and ransack whole camps and things like that i don't think it's gonna work like that uh, but i would say the niche of more care bearish people in eve online that are looking for a very sandboxy experience uh, where uh, where the, the goal is not really set you can just do whatever you want my brother for instance uh, wants a, a very specific outfit that makes him look like uh, like uh, some uh, a post-apocalyptic survivor uh, and wants to focus on being able to cook really well so that uh, he can get rid of uh, of all of the the problems of rats and and hunger and and thirst and things like that and i myself am going more for a snipery character uh, that that will have uh, a bit of sneaky capabilities and things like that and yep just we have our own little goals that we want to set there uh, try to have a cool little camp nothing too big nothing too major but something that that looks cool uh, something that is uh, you know appropriate to our characters and uh, yeah, just just go from there uh, you know we have those types of goals in mind and we'll try to enjoy the game and uh, that's really all I did last week guys thank you very much for watching and as always I'll see you next time